Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to NCS Release 14 first tutorial. I am Engineer Muhammad Qasim Shanwari to guide you in this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will uh, model and then analyze the 2D truss. We will plot the results and by the end, we will validate the results. So, let's get started. I would like to express my deep and sincere gratitude to Dr. A. Q. Bhatti. His understanding, encouraging and personal guidance have provided a good basis for the present set of NCIS tutorials. We are going to uh, analyze this 2D truss. The dimensions are clearly shown 3.6 meter and 3.118 meter. Similarly, the forces is kilonewton. To solve uh, any problem in NCIS, these are the important steps which have you have to follow. The first step, step is to the set up the environment, which means uh, you have to change the size of the windows to change uh, or move the different menus etc. After that we will specify the element type then we will add and define specify some material properties after that we will go to geometry we will define some geometry using, um, using different mesh etc and then we will mesh our geometry after that we will specify our constraints that is the support conditions we will apply load then we will solve the structure after that we will plot the deformed shape and we will display the forces and reactions and at the end uh, this is an optional step that is to validate the results either theoretically or by some other software or by both so let's get started to open ANSYS, type ANSYS, remember that I am using Windows 7, click on Mechanical ADPL ANSYS 14, ANSYS is now getting started, let me maximize the window. Let us get some uh, familiarization about the main window. These are the menus. This is the command entering text box. And this is the ANSYS main menu which we will mostly use. Mostly this ANSYS main menu is used. Save DB means save database resume database quit etc and this is the main working area or you can say main graphical area where we will model our models and analyze and solve them you can set the uh, size of the window by moving around different windows and pans and you can uh, set it as your own requirement. As we discussed, the uh, first se step is the setting up the environment. We have learned how to uh, set the different pens, etc. Before starting any analysis, modeling, etc., first of all, we have to set some preferences we have to set some preferences click on preferences and here select structural remember that uh, we are selecting this structural to uh, get some ease while we will navigate through main menu when we will select structural ANSYS will only show the commands of structural related to structural analysis structural okay 
The second step is to specify the element type. For specifying element type, we have to use the preprocessor menu. Click on preprocessor, then click on element type and click on add, edit, delete. Here click add. For structural uh, tr uh, truss element, we will go for link and then 3D finite st STN180. Okay, close. We'll go to real constant, add, edit, delete. Click add. Okay, we assume the area as 70 square millimeter. Remember that we have to go through uh, a consistent unit throughout this tutorial. Uh, I will use the millimeter for length and kilonewton for force. Throughout the tutorial, throughout the project, you have to keep the units consistent. So I will go this way. Type the area is 10 square millimeter and click OK set one this material is now defined this element is now defined we will assign this element to our truss members click close now the second step is completed when we complete the element type and real constant now let us proceed to third step which is specify material properties for material properties under preprocessor click on material properties and then click on material models go to structural linear elastic isotropic the value of young modulus is 200 gigapascal assuming this 200 giga, giga pascal value as we know that pascal is equal to newton per square meter so 200 giga pascal if we convert it into kilonewton per square millimeter the value will be 200 please be consistent in using the different types of units so 200 in my case the PRXY that is the Poisson ratio I am keeping it zero click OK and now close it the fourth step is to specify the geometry now let us specify the geometry geometry under preprocessor Click on modeling. Now click on modeling. Click on create. Then click on key points and click on inactive CS. CS means co coordinate system. And now we have to define the coordinate system. <clears throat> Once again remember that we are using the millimeter unit for length. So for example the key point number 1, the number 1 ordinate is 0, 0, 0, x, y, z throughout 0. Now we will define the second coordinate. If we see here. The second coordinate will be that is the second coordinate as this is an equilateral triangle and it is 3.6 meter which means that up to this half it is 1.8 meter it is 1.8 meter or we can say 1800 mm 